Hello again, Ian Stuckey with Mastermind Games, and going into hordes this time with the new Scorn Warcaster from their new battle box, Beast Masters of Car. Rosie Shadow 09067. I'm gonna try for a somewhat disturbing color scheme, well, not color scheme, skin tone, because Zakar is referred to by the Scorn as a word that means came back from the dead. I can't remember what he was fighting, if it was feral or trolls, but he got caught in a big blast and most of his skin was thoroughly mutilated and has to put special ointments and salves on because his skin will start bleeding profusely. But he is a pain giver war warlock. And now, I don't know how to put it. For those of you who are unaware of War Machine Hordes, uh, the Scorn, which he belongs to, and 09164 Dark Elf Skin, are basically an entire society of sadomasochists. The Pain Givers, uh, well, their name says it all, really. There's not a whole lot on Zakar outside of what's, or much of anything, really, outside of what's in the little booklet that came with the new starter box for his faction. But, uh, people for the ethical treatment of animals, PETA, give uh, Privateer Press a lot of crap about the Scorn, but um, the thing is the Scorn are a solidly villain faction. There's no moral ambiguity, it's all, you know, pretty evil, so don't quite see what the problem is, considering that, again, they're a solidly evil faction. And this is going on the cloth only. This is not necessarily in a this is not a official color scheme, by the way. Just make sure that's clear right out the bat, but ambiguous right here what's supposed to be arm and what's supposed to be cloth in the arm so I think I'm just gonna call that okay and maybe hit that armpit here with the flesh tone all right I am gonna have to wait at this point before moving on to the next step there's a lot of armor on this guy considering he is so lightly armored <laughs> and yes his whips do look like scorpion stingers Next up, 09077 Marine Teal. So, note to self, don't uh, record video segments when I'm really tired, I say weird things. <laughs> but, the Scorn are basically an entire society of sadomasochists. They torture themselves and just about everything they get their hands on. So they are a pretty solid, solidly villainous faction. But the particular model that PETA likes to give uh, Privateer Press crap about is a called a Titan Agonizer. I'll be doing a Titan for too long, but <clears throat> the Agonizer is a juvenile Titan that is 
tortured pretty severely. But again, the Scorn are a solid villain faction, so... I don't believe in, uh, as this is kind of meant for, this hobby is meant for, you know, adults, I don't see the problem with not pulling your punches. I get it on pulling your punches with villainy when you're talking about something meant for smaller children, but you, I don't feel you should pull your punches on something that's meant and marketed primarily to older teens and adults. Let's see, those are going to be... Yeah, as a pain giver, Zakar has plenty of blades hanging off of his uh, armor here. Which I'm assuming are tools of the trade. Another interesting fact about the Scorn is they're also called the Godless. Because unlike every other race in War Machine Hordes, they were not created by any known god and do not worship any god at all. There is only the void for them upon their deaths, which is basically the equivalent of uh, hell in the Iron Kingdoms. And it is a gap between the mortal world and the spirit world. Crix's Bane Thralls are created from soul, or Bane Warriors and other Bane models are created from souls drawn from the void. The only way the Scorn have of avoiding this is exaltation, whereby their souls are put in a special stone that keeps it in the mortal world. And these preserved souls can be petitioned for advice and can be inserted into specially prepared statues which they can animate like they would their former bodies. Whoa. If I haven't mentioned it before, I think I did. I wound up gluing the car's arms on backwards. Or, yeah. Putting the right on the left and the left on the right, so I had to snap off and re-glue, so they're a little funny. But the, uh, photo on the box doesn't make it that clear either. And the Scorn Hail from Eastern Imran, which the elves that now live in Ios basically blew up in time immemorial. The Scorn were kind of stuck there, and they thrived putting themselves into, a, or rather organizing themselves into, a number of great houses in thorough competition before the deposed Signar and King Venturalthorn fled into their territory and basically conquered them one household at a time making them, for the first time in their history, one cohesive army. And when they realized that he was just going to use them as cannon fodder and wipe them out once he got Signor back under his control, they gave him the boot, and though he escaped with his life just barely, one of their own, a scorned woman named Makeda, took over and decided to continue Venter's plans of conquest of the continent of Imran, only doing it for the only doing it for themselves, not a third party. Okay. So I need to let that dry completely and then I can move on to probably most of the other columns. Okay, it's dry enough I can do the next one, which is going to be blood or deep red is zero nine zero zero two. There's not too much of this. I have a clogged nozzle here it's by a simple paper clip. Uh, it's such a handy little tool to have.
think that this part of that should be a metal color down there, but it's also tassel. That the scorn uh, tend to save their metal for weapons and use lacquered materials, woods, and uh, I think hides as well in their armor. But they treat it alchemically in such a way that it's as strong as steel armor. And they're a cataphracty heavy infantrator. Something to be feared, and I'll have some of them coming up too. All right, that gets that red. So I think I can go ahead and get tarnished steel zero nine two zero six. that Zakar is a weapon master with his whips, which means he gets an additional dice on damage rolls. Make sure I'm on camera, good grief. Gotta watch that. Defeats the purpose of it, doing a painting video if you don't see what I'm doing. just going to leave the trim on his armor and that's going to have to wait until everything here is completely dry so back in a bit okay next up is going to be antique gold 09050 yeah the primary reason i uh decide to use a variant color scheme is well i'm kind of using this red for kator which i do have some of so i just didn't want to double up on that get part of the head but leave the uh, blue underneath mostly intact Be careful because I don't want to go too far. But we'll go ahead and get part of this mask, I think. And part of the breastplate, but not all of it. During uh, my first game with this guy, the guy I was playing against kept calling Zakara she. Didn't 
subtly pay attention to me correcting him, but, oh well. Let's see any other places I want gold. I am using this sparingly on purpose. Hmm. You know, on this, I think I'm okay, actually. So I'll go ahead and Call it good with the gold at that. Then once it's dry, I can start shading. <clears throat> okay, shading time. Red brick, 09001. There isn't much of this. Ancient Bronze 09049. Wound up not using too much of this either, so. Let's not tempt fate and call that good for the time being. Next up is Black and Steel 09205. Part of me says maybe I should have put more gold on him, but part of me says I've got enough. Okay. That just leaves two more colors to shade, and then I can do some jewels. No, three colors that's jewels. Okay, now the big one Deep Ocean 09076.
is precision and patience are the keys here. So I have to pull you off of his face and mask. And that blue is still seeping into his face and mask, but it's okay. So that just leaves the flesh and the cloth, and then I can do some jewels and highlight and finish up. Okay, blood red is zero nine zero zero three. This is dry enough to work with at this point. So. <laughs> Again, trying to go for a disturbing skin tone on him. So, we'll see what the end result looks like. Elf Shadow Switching brushes now. Pure black zero nine zero three seven. in his mask and then pure white zero nine zero three nine not much of that's needed either jewels here and in the center of his breastplate and on his helmet. Okay, once that's dry, I can get the jewels and then haul it. Uh, 
so pine green zero nine zero one zero. Get started on the jewels. Doing this a sort of base coat with a very fine brush. It's got to dry completely before I can get the final step on it. Uh, skin tone's looking nice and disturbing so far, so that's good. Okay. Now shine up those jewels with pale green 09012. This is getting done as a wash. up the dark elf shadow here with 09163. We'll go ahead and just take care of that right now and hope it works. Let's absorb a little more of the paint. dry completely then I can highlight detail and finish up. Okay highlights. Let's turn that reverb down. Alright. That's a good question. Rosy skin zero nine zero six eight. With any luck the combination of the blood red shading and Going a bit darker, we'll put Zakar's skin tone at something weird enough to make your skin crawl. Not that there's much skin showing it. Not bad. I think I'll try it again on some of the heavy infantry I have coming up and see what that turns out. How that turns out. I am slaughtering the English language again today. Okay. So, next. Dark Elf Highlight 09165. this up a little more thoroughly. It came out a bit runny. Much better. Look, bad grip. this choice of cloth, I just want something to be much darker in contrast with the overall brighter color of the armor. Draw that 
out and speaking on. Sir Falk was 09078. Part of me says I should have tried to find more places to do in the gold, but I didn't see anything that stood out as I should do it in a separate color, you know. But different people are going to interpret this differently, and there's no right or wrong way to paint these things. It's okay. It's okay. It's a little tricky to do the whips because of their flexibility. That'll be all right. Zero nine zero zero three. And that's clogged up, so a quick jab from a paper clip. It's got it. I'll go ahead and switch brushes to give the first one a chance to dry out a little more. little hooked blades are hanging off of. And now true silver zero nine two zero seven. And new gold zero nine zero five one.
Okay. And then pure white zero nine zero three nine. A very fine brush. It's going to add a little shine to the jewels. And now for the arc, how about red brick zero nine zero zero one? Well, Maybe a bit lighter, 09002 deep red actually. I use a blood red on Kador. I use the teal on Retribution. So I'll do this for Scorn. Where is a flathead brush? And now to start the front arc, I'm going to overextend it and then go back with black after this has dried. Since War Machine Hordes relies on a distinct front arc to make attacks through and provides bonuses against attacks made through the back arc. Alright, so I need to let that arc dry, but just about done. Just need to touch up the arc. Get some basic material on and call them good. Okay, time to polish up the back arc. So I'm going to center the car the way I want him. This is a uh, self-healing cutting mat Privateer Press puts out. What's special about it is it's got the markings for the bases, so you can uh, get that dealt, get them marked more accurately. So, pure black, 09037. And I've got him centered right where I want him. I uh, can't really get the camera, so I'll we'll have to figure out something to do about that next time. Carefully get the edges. Okay. Now I can just backfill. Okay. And I am aware the light I've got is pretty harsh, but I can't see very well without it. It's an unfortunate necessity. Okay, that's got his front arc. So now once that completely dries, I can add my basic material of choice. Okay, time to get uh, the basic material in the car now. In this case, I'm going to be using sand. But first, I need a glue solution. So, there's plenty of white glue. Dilute with water. And a brush you're going to more or less sacrifice. That one is too good for trap brushing. That one is kind of beat up, though not suitable for dry brushing. Because this will kind of muck it up sooner, but alright, and then carefully paint around the feet. What's nice about the style of face that comes with our War Machine Hordes models is it's got this lip that will help catch your flock and or other materials. And since the scorn come from a magically blasted wasteland of a desert, which I just realized is something like a synonym, I'm going to use sand. 
And this is just a four big bulk bag of playground sand that like cost me five dollars for more than I'm probably ever gonna use. Just give it a dip. And taking a separate brush, I'm just gonna dust away where I don't want it. Now this is a slot base, so I used some masking tape on his uh, in the uh, cavity before I primed. A little more, I'm just gonna just off camera, just sprinkling a bit on, and that looks pretty good. So now I need to let that dry completely before I or not completely but set for a while before I seal it. I'll explain why when I come back. All right, last step, a sprayer brush on adhesive, a glass eyedropper, and just carefully put a few drops into the sand. Now you need to let this sit for a while first, otherwise this will simply push your material around without actually soaking into it and setting it. It's still kind of fluid here, which isn't good, but I can move it around with the eyedropper a bit to cover up some of the gaps. Okay, and that's pretty much it, cleaning out the tool. And that is Beast Masters of Car from Hordes. So, got some more scorn coming up. Until next time, I am Ian Stokey with Mastermind Games, signing out.